So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about rotations and reflections. And so I'll start with a shape, something, something kind of simple. Maybe uh, something like this, just a triangle. And that'll be A, B, and C. I'm going to get the coordinates on there too. So 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 5, 3, and then this is the point. So first thing let's do is a uh, reflection across the x-axis. So if we reflect this across the x-axis, what's going to happen is the whole thing's just going to get flipped in this direction. Notice it must, doesn't move left, right at all. So the x values stay the same, like this is up at 1, 5. But what's going to happen is this distance that it is from the line that it's reflecting across is going to get mirrored down to here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this point C that's at 1, 5, will get down here to 1, oh, that's sloppy, sorry, 1, negative 5. And that's C prime. This point that's at 3, 2 comes across and down, and it's still at 3, but now it's at negative 2. And this point right here that's at 5, 3, it's still, the X part's still 5. 3, but the y part is negative 3. And that would be b prime. So there's my reflection um, across the x-axis. And notice if I reflect across the y-axis, all the y's would stay the same. I'm, I'm sorry, that was across the x. Yeah, across the y, the, all the y's would stay the same, but the x's would switch. So this 1, 5 would go to negative 1, negative 5. 3, 2 would go to negative 3, 2, and that sort of thing. So let's do a rotation now. So if I do a rotation um, around the origin, and I'm going to go this direction, and this direction is counterclockwise, 90 degrees. Now, we've been practicing where you could lay patty paper on here. And if you lay patty paper on here, you basically take this and you rotate it down to here. So that would be 90 degrees. But I'm going to show you a way to think about that um, that's kind of cool. This point one five. Notice it's going to come down here. It's actually going to get out here, and the 1 and the 5 are going to switch. So it will be the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's still like a 5, 1, but I need to clean up because this is really a negative 5. So negative 5, 1. So notice they switched, and one of the signs changed. Uh, this point 3, 2, it's over 3, up 2. Now instead of being over 3, it's going to be back 2, but up 3. So notice it's negative 2, 3. <laughs> Boy, that is an ugly 3. That's A prime. And if I take this point 5, 3, that's over 5, up 3. This will be back 3, 1, 2, 3, up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3, negative 5. Again, uh, oh, I'm sorry, negative 3, 5. Sorry about that. So again, the x, y switch, and the signs, you got to clean up the signs to get the direction. And you can see how that one turned into there. So there's two ways to think about rotations and uh, reflections.